guys, this is System, and this is Enigmatica 6. Hope everyone is well, having a out of the amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into this pretty cool pack. And uh, brand new pack, brand new pack smell, gonna give it a go, and uh, should be a good time all around. So this pack is a kitchen sink, and uh, it has been around for a while. They've been continuously working on it, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I wanna try it out, because there's lots of mods in here that uh, I don't really know, and I need to know, and I want to know them. Plus in time, this is gonna become a expert pack, so when it does, I'm almost going to definitely play it. So I figure good time to learn the mods as well as play the pack. So that's kind of the idea there. So let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves some start tools here. Got ourselves some driftwood. Let's grab that. Go ahead and grab ourselves probably an axe as well. Probably a good idea. And then probably a sword. So let's get a sword to just get started, I guess. There you go. Got ourselves a little bit of tools. You do start off with waystone. So you can go ahead and set up a kind of waystone teleport system between all the waystones that you're going to find in the world. And they are, are a good amount of them. So that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab that. So there was a ship over there. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Then probably head out on an adventure and find ourselves a little place to live here. So should be a good time all around. Anyway, we have this mod here called All the Biomes You'll Go. Just a cosmetic one. Changes uh, the world a lot. Adds a lot of different biomes. Adds stuff like, is it this from that mod? No, this is from Biber Journeys. Uh, these here, you had to shift click them off the ground. You convert them into other things. So that's kind of neat. Some turn into bones and stuff like that. Those ones are prismarine. But, uh, we're just going to go ahead and check out the ship. See a astral, a uh, little temple there. One of the smaller ones. Not too concerned about that. See there, we got a resourceful bee, which is uh, pretty awesome. I have, playing, have been playing this a little bit on Twitch. So this is actually pretty cool. And uh, gives me a little idea of what is going on here. So I have a little better start than most people will, right? So that is a thing. Uh, we'll go over the quest book and stuff in a few minutes here as well. Because uh, there are lots of quests in here too for people who like their questing. Nothing saying you have to do quests. They're completely optional, right? So you just want to play it as a kitchen sink. You can do that. Uh, there's all kinds of building blocks in this pack as well. So you can um, build as you please if you're a builder. It has stuff for you. If you're an explorer, there's mods in here. Lots of uh, exploring mods as well. Uh, it has that mod there, what it's called, Better End or something like that. Friggin' amazing mod for the end. I'm actually excited to kind of see that. I saw there was an integrated tree or, or integrated dynamics tree over here. We're gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. There's also berry bushes over the world too. I guess all over the world. So if you're out of food, you can usually just find berry bushes. <laughs> there you go. And eat them uh, really easily. So just go ahead and eat some blueberries. There you go. Uh, we got husbandry, whatever that means, but uh, we have it. Gonna go ahead and grab this tree. This is, uh, like I said, from Integrated Dy uh, Dynamics. I want some of those saplings there. This is one of those mods that I keep telling myself I'm gonna learn and never do. So hopefully I do in this pack. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and uh, cut that. Let's go ahead and cut that. We have vein mine here too. So you hold the button uh, left of your one key, the tilt key, and uh, all connected blocks will uh, break, right? You can actually uh, hold that in shift and then scroll wheel and go through like different shapes, but I usually leave it on shapeless. It's just easier that way. So that's the thing. These are beehives. They're just from resourceful bees. And uh, yeah, should be a pretty fun pack all around. Like I said, it's just a good time. I've been really enjoying it, playing on Twitch and... Uh, We'll kind of see how it goes here. Anyway, so we need to uh, get us started here. So, oh, we got another ship here too. Let's go ahead and grab that. But um, yeah, we're going to find ourselves a place to live. I'm thinking about doing maybe a cave base in this one. Kind of doing that. I want to get into crate early on because I know crate is in the pack. Probably use it for our ore doubling. And it's not tripling. It's like ore 2.5, I guess it is. And uh, that is pretty cool. There's also a mod in here. What is it called? Uh, let's go to en Enigmatica. There you go. Imendetus Ignibatica. They have a custom mob here. Uh, mob. Mod. Doing all the ore addiction. Pretty much for the entire pack. So there's a lot of stuff like that. And there's also a custom block here too. For like doubling up your diamonds and stuff as well. Forget where, where it was. It might be on page one. Right there. This thing. The Fortunizer. You take a pick with Fortune on it. And it basically uh, gives you the same amount of resources you would get from breaking it. From a pick of that level Fortune. Right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Paper. Carrots look good. I'll grab wheat for sure as well. That looks good. What do we get on that helmet? And veil, don't know what that is. Blast protection on breaking. Probably don't need these boots, do we? Let's go ahead and toss them. <laughs> there you go. And uh, just find us a place to live, I suppose. There's big giant towers too, and I'm hoping we'll see one pretty soon. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and head to that. Um, the towers have uh, sometimes like books in them that make it so you have either like a big leap so you can move around. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, <laughs> so you have a really big leap or uh, flight, like mock flight, which is really cool. 
Uh, do I want some of these? I don't think I want this. This is actually a roguelike dungeon. Uh, dungeon. They've done a lot of like custom stuff in this pack, right? So they made it so the roguelike dungeons could have magma blocks, and I think it was casings. I saw once uh, in my Twitch world uh, casings from um, what is that mod there? The mod that uh, you do create stuff with called Great. But uh, yeah, yeah, they definitely have ones where it'll just be made of weird things. So they're the only two I really know of. And we got ourselves a little bit of leather there. That's cool. We also have uh, Alex's mob, so we have that in here. I know some people aren't a super big fan of that, but if you really don't like it, you just remove it, right? Also, if you have something in your inventory you want to get rid of, you just hit the delete key, and it'll set it straight to this section down here. It's really nice, so kind of clean up your inventory really easy, which is cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and head to this tower here, see what we can see from the top of it, as well as see what we get from the loot chest. Now, this tower is meant to be, like, parkour up, but I'm just going to nerd pillar up it because it's a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Oh, also, we have uh, low food. I know there's a quest here that gives you food. This is one of the main quests here to kind of start you off. Welcome to Ignomatica 6. We're glad to have you. Quests are divided into three types, exploring, learning, and challenges. You can learn more about mobs uh, of each type from below. But you get yourself, I think, a good amount of food here. You have 16 of uh, food. You notice there's a nutrition mod in here as well. Not that button. It's this one over here. You have your diet, and as you eat, if you have a... I guess more varied diet. I believe you get buffs and stuff is how that works. So haven't really got too into that, but uh, don't even know what buffs you get, to be honest. But I think we'll figure that at a time. There's also that other one I showed there. So there's like a trinket mod. And as you're breaking blocks or sometimes killing mobs or doing other actions in the game, sometimes you'll just unlock a trinket. And you come into here and you can pick the trinket. And you can use experience to unlock more slots. So I think you'd have up to 10 slots active with different trinkets, uh, adding all different functionality at the same time, which is really neat. Anyway, we're going to go up that tower. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab us some blocks here. There you go. Do it the cheap way. That is cool. Looks like they have the uh, vein mine set to 64 blocks by default, which is fine. That's more enough for uh, vein mine. It's cool. I don't even know why I still call it vein mine. It just will always be vein mine in my head because uh, 17, that's just what we called it, right? Back in the day, that was what we had <laughs> i guess it really depends on what version you started on but i guess uh anyone who played uh before that time is going to be vain mine right anyway let's go up this tower and uh hopefully we get one of the books there's other things you get too right like really cool items out of these towers these towers seem to have some of the best loot anyway there we go oh we got one of the books here we got uh charm of feather weight that's probably a uh, slow fall this is an infinity water bucket that's actually awesome let's try out our book here what is this one Cloud in a bottle. Belt. Allows the wearer to double jump. That sounds amazing. Let's grab the emeralds and the feathers as well. That's all really good stuff. Let's go ahead and equip our trinket here. That double jump one sounds amazing. It's probably down here. There you go. And double jump. So just double jump. That's awesome. Okay. This is the one I was really going for though. So we have this one now. If you look at it, it's going to do self, launch, two times, glide, and duration. It's basically a spell from Mars Nouveau. And uh, if I kind of look up and use it, Boom. Since it's flying in the air, then you can just do uh, your normal gliding uh, that you do with an elytra, <laughs> which is amazing. we got a village over here, too. Let's see what we have around here. We've got a spawner there. We've got a waystone. It looks like we got an immersive building over here, too. Let's go check that immersive building really quick, because uh, I think that's an immersive one. Usually the ones with the bricks are immersive, so go ahead and see if we got any of the crates in here. We do. This is awesome, actually. Because with this, we can actually take all our stuff, just like that, and then use this like a shulker box, which is actually awesome. Anything else I need out of that? I need, like, food. I have my food on me. That's good. That's good. I think I don't need any of the rest of that stuff right now. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Might have another one inside anyway. I think they usually have two. Go ahead and grab that. Sweet. But yeah, keeps all the items, so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. So we have one there. And anvil. We'll grab the anvil as well, because I do like anvils. <laughs> there you go. And that as well. I guess we might as well take the floor too, because I think we only need eight of these blocks to be able to um, make more of these crates. And uh, they'd be actually pretty good to have. So that's pretty cool. That's not a bad little find. Let's head over here. I'm going to grab all the weed out of this city too, probably. All the hay bales, I should say, because uh, that is all super easy food. Might as well unlock this. You do get a free, uh, it's in my right there, one of these waystones. So you don't need to grab that one right away. Um, to kind of nab it for yourself, but you can break them and take them uh, wherever you want them, right? So that's cool. Right here, we have an apotheosis spawner. This is what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and uh, break that there. Oh, we actually got some iron right here, too. There's some luck. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, head back up for a second. We need to get whatever wood we have. I can't remember which grade it was in though. So let's go bam, bam. Let's see if we're gonna hunt down some wood. We have crafting table right there. We need to make ourselves a wooden pick because otherwise we can't break that spawner, right? Let's do that. Go ahead and do that there. That looks good. And let's see uh, what loot is in this chest. I think there's pretty good loot in these ones as well, right? Ooh, that's actually really good. A bunch of iron, which is awesome. Muzzle grab this iron as well. You'll notice the iron I get out of that is actually different. It's those chunk ones, right? So it's like an ore addicted one, which is cool. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, break that there and grab this. And then probably move on to a different area. I want to see if we're actually able to take off with our flight too. Because uh, I don't think I have this one yet in my Twitch world. So maybe you can, maybe you can't. I just knew this one existed. I have another one in that one. It's like a, a leap. You kind of leap up instead of actually fly. So anyway, pretty cool. Let's see if we can do it. So where's my book? Oh, it's in one of these. Let's go. Oh, no, it's right there. Let's go ahead and try that. We've got an elephant making elephant noises over here. Can you stop being so loud, buddy? Let's, uh, oh, get a little bit of lag here. Let's go ahead and see if we can double jump and then fly and then see if we can get ourselves up higher. Oh, I thought that was a new tower. That's one we've already been to. Guess we'll head off this way. We have Tinkers in here, but it's not really one of the main mods. There's no quest line for the Tinkers in here, I noticed. So it's a little strange, but the Tetra's in here and it does have a quest line. So I'll probably end up doing Tetra instead. There you go. Get ourselves some height. That's awesome. Pick a direction here. <laughs> Oh, we got a portal here. Another village. Oh, this is back where we were. Maybe I'll go check. Oh, we got another one of these here too. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. See if uh, we get ourselves any good loot out of this one. And then maybe I'll go and wander around myself a little bit. And then see. Oh, we going to make it? There you go. Oh, no, we didn't make it. Oh, that was panic. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I almost killed myself. Um, and then go ahead and uh, see if we can actually find ourselves a place to live. Basically is what I'm trying to say. So that's good there. Belt of Levitation. I'm not sure what that's about. Grab you. Sweet. I should be using that, um, I guess that slow fall thing that we got, but I'm not going to use it right this second. Let's go ahead and uh, eat another one of these. Go ahead and check that out. Check out our last bit of loot. And then, yeah, like I said, I'll probably go find myself a place to live. Because if I can just fly like this, there's nothing stopping me from just finding a place where I want to live really easily. And it's uh, really cool. Like, it's so cool to be able to just have a pack where you just start... And before you know it, you're just flying around like it's nothing all willy-nilly. And uh, that's the joy of kitchen sinks. Oh, that's really good. Night vision? Are you serious? Did we we just got night vision? Wait a sec. Are you serious? Night vision goggles. Head. Go ahead and pop this on. Oh, my goodness. We actually have night vision goggles on. That's amazing. What else is in here? Oh, I forgot we have our tools dimension in here as well. As well as some other stuff, right? So... Uh, our tools dimension will be able to uh, create dimensions uh, again, I guess in modded, which is cool because we haven't been able to do that for a while in 116. Hasn't been a thing anymore. Don't know if we'll need it in a kitchen sink back, but it's always something fun to do, right? So I've been running around looking for a place to live and I haven't found a place yet, but I want to kind of show you here. I already have like a ton of materials just from running around without even really having to do much work. Like look at this appetite, man. I want to show you this actually before anything. Let's take a look at that. Go over here and go to the Lapidary Dynamo from uh, Thermal. It uh, gives 1,600,000 RF per one of these, right? And every time you break a block, you get a bunch of it. You see that I already have tons of it, all right? So that's already like early game power, pretty much take care of, you know what I mean? We won't have to worry about it at all. That is super simple. But what I wanted to show out here, uh, show off here, was they did uh, the ore addiction with the other blocks in the game. So here's a great block. But they made it so Appetite could spawn in it, or at least appear to spawn in it, right? Same down here with Iron. Over there, you got Deep Slate. You can see there, I can see Zinc. I can see some Tin there. And it's just all over the place. So it's super easy to kind of buy resources, first off. And two, it uh, makes the blocks kind of fit into the world better than they usually do. Because usually when you have Deep Slate or uh, this stuff, Skura, in a world, and they have ore spawn around it, it looks out of place. Now it looks like it's like totally fits into the mod pack. It's just a nice little aesthetic kind of addition that just makes it really cool. I thought it was really awesome. Just thought I'd point that out. Like I said, I'm still looking for a base though. So I'm going to probably do some more wandering. Oh, also there's a mod here that makes it so the rivers are wider. So rivers are wider and lakes are bigger, which reminds me I need to grab a bunch of sand and clay before we find a base just so we can make glass and uh, anything we need from clay. But uh, let me find a house, man. We need, we need a place to live.
And like I said, I'm probably gonna live in a hill like a hobbit. So I finally found out some place to live here. We're gonna live in this hill. This is our this is our home. This this pile of dirt is where we live. Have a tunnel kind of going down inside it. We'll kind of go down there in a second. I need to set up a little area for our farm down here temporarily. We'll move most of the stuff inside of the base at some point. But for right now, I really just needed stuff like industrial hemp so we can have string really easy because I want to be able to make a backpack here in a couple minutes. But just like that, right there. There you go. Get strings. Super simple. Really awesome. This stuff takes a little bit of uh, time to grow the first time, the actual hemp. But once you do, it just kind of grows over and over and over, which is awesome. You just break the tops, right? Also grew some wheat. And some uh, industrial, uh, not industrial, integrated dynamics mineral. So I got that going for us. So we get some of those uh, crystals there. And then a bunch of spruce. These trees over here are from Ars Magica. We'll probably use them at some point, but they were just here. So anyway, that's the thing. Uh, all pretty cool all around and uh, pretty awesome. Also, I found another item as well. What did I find here? Another artifact. Increases the wearer's jump height and grants immunity to fall damage, which is actually pretty awesome. You can actually see there, I'm wearing bunny slippers, which is pretty cool. I also see my bottle too. I never noticed that before. But uh, every time I get hit, now it sounds like a uh, rabbit being hurt, which is a little strange. I have some Tasmanian devils around here too somewhere. They're hanging around my base. They don't seem uh, dangerous. I guess I watched too many, uh, too much Looney Tunes as a child. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, grab our bed. I don't actually need this out here anymore. So let's do that. This is the tunnel down into a base, right? So we have this angled tunnel. It's actually pretty cool. It has a really weird uh, kind of perspective as you run down it. And I'll change the blocks in time, right? But I'm going to wait until we have some kind of exchanging tool to do that. But digging this out took some time. And uh, I wasn't going to do any more right now. So we have room down here. It's about a 21 by 21. It is currently a torch graveyard. We'll be able to switch, uh, switch, no, switch to uh, feral flares in time. So that'll work out for us. Uh, we have some leather here too somewhere. Where's it at? If I was leather, where would I be? I thought it was in this one. Let's go ahead and grab that. Actually, I want this food too. Let's go ahead and grab you. But I think we have a couple of leather around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Get some right there. That's cool. Then we should be able to go ahead and make one of these here. It's a sophisticated backpack. So this thing is actually pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and grab some chest here. Let's go ahead and grab one of them. I think we're going to need a crate as well. So let's actually do that and go ahead and do this and that. And grab some slates. Not a crate, but a barrel. Anyway, let's go do that. Sweet. Let's go ahead and grab this. This is the backpack. This thing can actually be worn as a uh, curio, uh, right? So we can go ahead and find the right slot. I think it's this one right here. And if you have the button set up in your controls, you can just hit the button, open it up. Then you have access to all your kind of, I guess, stuff that is in your backpack. So just a really nice storage item and uh, really cool. And uh, you can upgrade this as well. So we'll be able to upgrade it as we go and uh, add some other upgrades, right? So if you actually go to sophisticated, there's all kind of like different things you can add to it, right? So advanced restock upgrade, tank upgrade, uh, tool swapper. That's actually a really nice one. Then there's all kinds of other ones, and we'll get into that later on. So for right now, it's a storage space, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So we got that one done. Next one I want to get done right away, actually, is I want to go ahead and grab this. We're going to grab ourselves a, uh, not a heat pipe. That's for later on. We're going to grab a dank storage. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. Go ahead and grab this. This kind of acts like a backpack sort of as well. But it has some more functionality. So this thing by default at this level, right? We're going to go ahead and upgrade this later on to higher levels, right? But for right now, we're going to hold 256 items per slot. What's really good about this one, and it's really good for mining, right? You can set it to something like a uh, filtered uh, pickup. And then it'll pick up any item that I have filtered. So if I was like getting planks right now, it would pick up the planks and put them inside it, right? So if I go ahead and uh, throw these on the ground real quick. Go ahead and pick them up. Sweet. They're all inside here, right? So it just picks up just what is in the filter. It's how I usually use it myself because I find it really useful like that. So that is cool. You can also set it to void too. But it only holds about 256, I think, at this level. So be really good for mining because I'm going to go ahead and do some mining here in a couple minutes. Oh, also, another thing you do with this, if you have a hotkey set up. Actually, I'll show you that too. Let's go ahead and do that again. Let's do this. Sweet. Hit the hotkey. It'll put it in construction mode. Then the blocks inside it, you can place down as well. So it has kind of a double use because it's really good for, I guess, building around your base as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, turn that back. Sweet. And uh, look at the next part of this. Next part of this, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, make one of these here. It's a sleeping bag. Super easy, super awesome, really good for sleeping and then not resetting your, um, your whatchamacallit, your spawn point. This thing here, you kind of just place it on the ground, sleep wherever you want to, and just pick it up uh, as you go, right? So really cool there. And uh, one more thing I wanted to make, just because it was a quest here, was the nature's compass. We're going to go ahead and grab that real quick. What do I need for that? Probably saplings and compass. I have compasses. I found some of them. 
And saplings, I think I put in this chest here. We'll just use mineral. There you go. Also went up to a slime island and got us some uh, some sky root saplings just so we'd have uh, some slime, right? So that was actually pretty cool. Uh, what am I missing? I thought you could use these. Wait, what? Okay, I, I swear my those just disappeared for a second. I'm confused. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. There you go. Awesome. We got our nature's compass now, so that's awesome. This thing is used to find spe uh, specific biomes. So if you're looking for a biome, say I want, um, let's say a birch forest, right? So let's just uh, maybe can we type in there? There we go, birch. Uh, that is not how you type birch. Let's go birch, birch forest. I want to go start search. We can see that there's one two thousand blocks away. It gives us the exact co coordinates. And we just follow the line of the compass and so we just go that kind of distance 2,000 blocks away you can find that biome right so when there's mods like uh there are in this pack where buying specific biomes is kind of important to like vanilla stuff you can use this compass right to uh find them which is really awesome and really cool right so i'm just going to kind of keep that around also went ahead and uh, accepted a whole bunch of quests right so i went ahead accepted a whole bunch there uh all these ones here a lot of them are just little read and then hit the check mark did you get yourself experience right and the reason i did that was the trinkets right so i've already unlocked a couple here so i have this one here you can ride a saddled pig <laughs> without the need of carrots on a stick also the pig movement speed is faster kind of a meme one then i got this one slingshot deal more knockback when hitting enemies so i'm gonna go ahead and equip that one right now which is cool let's go ahead and go out but now that i have some levels i'll go ahead and unlock a second slot and if i had another good one i'd be able to equip it but then it goes up to 25 levels, right? So you need more experience to unlock more and more. But uh, in time, as I unlock more of these, we'll just kind of have a whole lot of trinkets there. I'm going to show what we get. Uh, so this tome has uh, pretty much every book. So that is cool. And also all the rewards I got from accepting all the quests are in here. It's mostly just wrenches and uh, tools. So that is cool as well. And uh, pretty much everything I did. And I think that's uh, pretty much everything we're going to do right now. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and probably start mining down. It's kind of the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, where's all our stone? We got a whole bunch of it. Let's do that. Also, mining down here, I didn't get any regular stone. Not a single piece of regular stone mining down here. It's really odd, but yeah, definitely didn't. But I'm just going to use vanilla picks right now and just use some stone picks. I'm not going to get into uh, Tetra yet, but I'll be able to filter the materials as we go. And then I'm just going to use this, like uh, this room, I guess, for like our mining shaft. And then we'll have different tunnels going off different directions around our base, which is kind of the idea. I want to make sure we're dead center too. I think that was it there. And then you want to shape it to, uh, is this small tunnel? No, not small tunnel. It's the other one, small square. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> there you go. I'm just going to dig down all the way, probably to almost bedrock. Actually, we might be able to go to bedrock. If I go straight to bedrock, that'd be great. Actually, before I do this too, I should get ladders because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the butt, right? Anyway, I'll go ahead and mine down. And uh, once I'm done, I'll come back and uh, we'll actually do some actual tech. So I've gone ahead and uh, finished up mining here pretty much. So I just did a little bit, not much, right? So I have a little bit of materials here. Got enough to get us some gold as well. We needed some copper. You see here, I got almost a stack of diamonds. Seems like there's an abnormal amount of diamonds in this pack. I'm going to throw that out there. When you're mining, you're going to find diamonds a lot. I noticed that here and in my uh, Twitch world. So I think it's uh, pretty safe to say it's just all around. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab some paper. Let's uh, do that there. Uh, two things I noticed too while it's mining too, actually. Let's go ahead and check that out. The uh, flower right, right here, that is from uh, Mechanism. And this one, I guess Lapis as well. They both give you 1.6 million RF per item. It's actually crazy. These these generators are insane. They're actually insane. That's 20 million for a diamond. I wouldn't do that. But even things like Prismarine, like uh, Quartz, 1.6 million. Uh, Dimensional Shards, which is another one. That's 20 million. I think we're going to get those just from Void Miner, which is actually what we're going to set up here. So... I think we're going to be able to pretty much loop this power. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking here. And not even have to worry about power for a good amount of time. So let's go ahead and grab that. Then we probably want some of this. We need some dye. Let's do this here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, straight up jump to a our tools builder. So let's go ahead and grab that. I got some ender pearls around here somewhere. I have two or three of them. Where are they at? Are they in here? Yeah, we got three of them. There you go. Let's go ahead and grab that. Sweet. And uh, that should be pretty much everything we need for that, right? Yeah, we just need our clay from this. Let's do that. Sweet. And I'll just wait on them. We're waiting on them. Let's go ahead and actually make our uh, dynamo here. So we have um, everything, I think, right? I need a gold gear. Let's go ahead and uh, do one of them right there. That looks good. That's awesome. And then we're going to need a redstone quill. Let's grab one of them. 
and then we should actually have our power, <laughs> which is actually pretty crazy. And this is going to be the baby that kind of carries us, right? Uh, at least from the start of the pack. I'm curious what this is here. Amber, don't even know what that is. There's probably some other stuff too. What is that there? Oh, Mana Gems? That is uh, from Ars Nouveau. Pretty much everything we're going to be pulling out of the ground is going to give us power, which is actually kind of hilarious. So anyway, that's cool. Got ourselves a good amount of bricks there. Uh, we're probably going to need some cabling as well, as well as a chest, right? So let's actually grab a chest here. Let's do that. And then for cabling, we'll probably do uh, the uh, integrated stuff. So go here, go ahead and hunt down some logic cables, basically. So we'd want some of these here. Go ahead and grab just a little bit, like, I guess, three of them. That'd be good. And what are the other things we need? We need, let's go to uh, integrated. I forget what the cabling is. <laughs> I forget the name of it all. We need uh, item interfaces, right? I think. No, we don't need item interfaces. We need item exporters or importers. It doesn't matter which one. Let's go ahead and grab one of them. Need these variable cards, right? So let's grab that. Looks like we don't have enough crystallized, right? Let's go ahead and uh, see if we got any more. I may have to go grab some more of that before we actually get set up on the automation. I want to set this stuff uh, being sent into a drawer wall, basically. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, grab for them. That's good. Go ahead and see if we can actually grab our builder. We have that now. Then we need a shape card. So we need some more bricks. So that's a thing. <laughs> this thing's going to be... It's crazy that we're going to have this right at the start of the pack. I'm not used to this at all. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. We should have the right wrench right here. Go ahead and uh, maybe point that the right way. So it'll be powering this puppy. This thing is going to take a ton of power too, so you might as well go ahead and buffer it right now. We won't be able to keep up with it at this point. You know what? Let's use this stuff. We won't be using that stuff for a while, so let's use that first, I suppose. Let's go ahead and pump that in there. Start making power. Should give us uh, 40 RF a tick off the hop. Should be start going in here, which is awesome. We'll end up having a chest on top of this too, so let's just do that. And uh, we'll also need a lever, right? So we'll have to hunt down a single piece of stone. There we go. And then maybe a stick. Let's do that and that right there. That looks good. And then we drop some stone on the ground because that's always a good thing to do. And this thing's already almost ready to go, I guess. We do need to make the shape card, so we'll have to do that. We'll have to make a tool. Let's do this right here. I made a diamond pick. It looks like we could use it in the recipe as well, so that's not too bad. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, grab our bricks. That looks good. Go ahead and uh, combine that up. Awesome as well. And uh, there we go. We've got a shape card. That's cool. Go ahead and grab a quarry card right here. This version of it, there's two, right? There's a void one, and this one is just a quarry. This one will replace whatever it mines with dirt. And that's actually what I want because I don't want to end up, uh, you know, insane amounts of spawn spots around our base and stuff, right? I don't want to have that in my life, so I guess that's the thing. We'll probably put that in there after. Uh, we're also going to need a, uh, what is there, filter? We're going to need a filter module. Let's go ahead and grab one of them, hopefully. Do I have a chest right there? Sweet. Go ahead and uh, see if we can hunt down the filter again. Get ourselves a hopper. That looks good. Then we'll go ahead and uh, hunt down the actual filter module, which is awesome. And that should be good, actually. We have pretty much everything we need. Now, we can go ahead and grab this filter module. We'll be able to filter this really easy, right? So we don't want to pull up everything. We want to add tags. You go down here, hit this Add Tags button. And then we should be able to just go to, uh, I guess, or right there and we want to find one that says forge ore so can we hunt that down four doors right there so i'll go ahead and click on that one there you go see there there's kind of a list right now if we go ahead i think go here it shows you everything that's going to try to pull out of the ground it's going to pull anything that's tagged forge ores that should be all the tag i should need to do at this point i may add andesite to this in a bit but uh, for right now that should be good and then I guess we just need to set up the actual kind of Y levels for our shape cards. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll probably go down here real quick. It also has a mod that makes it so you can kind of go up and down um, the ladders really easy. <laughs> but I'm not too worried about that right now. Oh, I need to right click on the machine first. I totally derped that. But uh, you set the offsets. And that's what I'm doing right now. I want to set the max height and the minimum height uh, really easily. Then I can just set the, uh, the area really big. But it can do a really big area. So it's like 512 by 512 by 256 or something like that. It's a massive area. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, shift right click there. There you go. Got our first corner. Go ahead and head down here. <laughs> there you go. I'm just going to bounce around for a little bit. I forgot to, uh, t forgot to tell you that too. I got the uh, sky slime boots. There you go. Which is uh, pretty awesome. I can just right click there. That'll set one of the offsets, right? So it's going to stop at bedrock, which is what I want. And then I guess I could just go ahead and uh, do the other one manually, or maybe we'll go up to the top 
and uh, do it uh, not so manually. I actually want to set the height. Usually I would do it around Y level 60. I'm actually going to go way over that, I think, at this pack. Uh, mostly because, uh, yeah, the uh, appetite, I think, is going to be higher than that, right? So I think it's uh, over Y level 60 to get that stuff. So we want to get that stuff for power kind of continuously. I'm going to want it quite high, actually. So, yeah, maybe like a Y level 120. Maybe like right here. This looks pretty good. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Don't see any mobs out right now. I think it's nighttime, right? I think it's nighttime. I can't tell with these goggles. Oh, yeah, it is. There's mobs over there. Anyway, I don't really want to blow up. Where's my cave entrance? It's hard for me to identify my cave entrance around here because we don't really have any markings right now. But anyway, this should be our shape card. We shouldn't have to worry about anything uh, from this point on. With that, we should be able to just pretty much throw this on here and flip the reliever. It should start uh, pulling out materials out of the ground, which is uh, really awesome. We will have to set up some drawers and stuff to, uh, I guess, store the bulk of this. I'm going to have to go grab some crystals, though, so I didn't know we were that short. I thought I had more of those. But anyway, that's good there. Cool. And there you go. It's already starting to get iron. It'll start getting all the other stuff as well. It's going to slow down a couple minutes because it's going to run out of power. We can't keep up to this. But I get to chain like five, six, seven, eight of these lapidaries in one of these and get materials really quick. Not that we need them. I'll probably let it run pretty slow, to be honest, because it's just uh, not something we need to worry about that much, to be honest. This pack doesn't uh, require tons of resources, just that you have them. Should go ahead and uh, throw a full stack in there too, right? So that, there you go. So we basically have uh, 64 times 1.6 million RF already in that thing. So this thing's gonna run for a long time without me having to do anything. So yeah, we already have a void miner, which is crazy. So I had to head over to the nether here really quickly just to grab us a little bit of quartz because uh, we needed it. I needed one piece of quartz, then we go ahead and set this up. And then, yeah, we'll be pretty much done. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to grab this glowstone over here just so we have that as well. That's cool. We also got a horrible spawn up here. Actually, he almost had a heart attack, which is uh, definitely a thing. Let's go ahead and grab you. There you go. Let's do this. Head over here real quick. If you look over this edge, this is where our portal is. Like, look at that, man. That's actually super sketch. And that's the way it had me facing when I first came in, too. So I was a little startled, but uh, we should be okay now. So that's cool. Uh, the obsidian, super easy. We got diamonds. Don't have to worry about it anymore, right? So that's already pretty much all taken care of. And uh, I think we're pretty much ready here to go ahead and make one of these. This is the door controller. Let's go ahead and grab that. Over here, we have a bunch of drawers. So let's go ahead and grab them. I made a weird number of them, too. Just uh, what I had on hand, right? So let's go ahead and grab them. I guess we have 13. I'll probably have to make a couple more. Really depends on how many ores are in the ground. I'm not really sure, right? So it's kind of winging it right there. Do that. Do that. I definitely need one more because that looks looks weird. But anyway, so I have some of these here. These are item interfaces. I have the logic cables. And I have this here, item exporter, right? So this is everything we needed from integrated dynamics. And this is a really easy way to kind of set up... Uh, uh, that's actually going the wrong way. Uh, set up uh, cabling, right? Really fast cabling, too. This cabling is actually really solid. So anyway, I think if you follow the way of the little white part, I think that's the arrow. So this is an exporter. So it's going to export into this. So you just follow the dot, right? So that's the way that works there, I, I think. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and put a, I guess an item interface there. Then we're going to want a cable right there, right? So that should be good. Then I think all we have to do is grab one of the variable cards Throw it into export all items, and then all the items should come into here. Wait, what? Why did that? Oh, I pulled that from the machine. Let's fix that. Oh, we actually have the wrench for this too, right? So, don't we? Oh, you don't? Oh, yeah, you do. You get it right there. There you go. This wrench is uh, probably make this a little easier. There you go. Sweet. Let's actually change this slightly. If that's going to be the way this is, let's do that. Do that. There you go. Our inventory is so clogged right now. It's just driving me crazy. Let's do that there. Sweet. I realized this video was getting late, or I guess long, I should say. And uh, yeah, now I'm in a rush to kind of get it finished. Well, still getting everything done. Let's do that. Let's do that there. Also, I have to fix the shape of it. It's actually set to 512 by 512. It wasn't set to that by default. I think it's only set to one by default, or maybe it's a three by three. I don't remember. But either way, it's fixed now. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our item interface. Let's pop that there. Let's go ahead and grab our item exporter. I'm probably going to have to turn that on and off too. It doesn't like it when you pull out cards uh, when it's on. Sometimes it goes all goofy. But anyway, that's good there. Then we should have our variable card right there. Go ahead and put it in export all items. Then the item should start going in there really quickly, right? So there you go. That's actually pretty good. See there, we're getting some stuff. And uh, I'm probably going to need a few more drawers. 
But that's effectively our system already. It's actually already taken care of. And uh, that's going to go for a very long time and uh, fill up these drawers. So <laughs> it's actually really awesome and uh, really rad. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, probably need to cut more gold too. So let's do this right here. Sweet. Do we have a drawer key? I'd really like to have one of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. I guess we need another drawer either way. And do I have any wood? Yes, because I just cut down a bunch of trees. Let's do this here. Do that. Sweet. Throw some wood on the ground because I just want to get this done. Sweet, sweet. Awesome. And then grab ourselves a drawer key, right? So this, uh, we need one of these first, the upgrade templates. That's cool. Let's throw that on the ground. <laughs> I'm so disorganized. Do that right there. I'll clean this up in a second. There you go. Should be able to uh, lock these drawers. I want them locked so they are kind of filtered, right? It only let things that go in there that uh, are already in a drawer, right? So that is good there. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some of this stuff and drop it off real quick. Maybe that there. That could go there. Go ahead and drop off some of that quartz. That should be fine. Sweet. Then we can pick up our junk, right? But yeah, we effectively have a void miner now doing all the stuff and things that we need to. Also, I need a drawer right here right now because I don't like the way that it's shaped right now. So that's the thing. Go ahead and lock that one. And uh, yeah, we have Void Miner. And uh, we're just pulling resources out of the ground. And uh, it's going to take time, right? It's not going to be super fast, especially at this power. Well, we'll be able to upgrade this power um, very quickly and very easily. And we've only gone through one crystal. One crystal. And uh, yeah, we're going to get more of those too, actually. We'll see those come in there. And okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this one up here. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys, I'll have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.